So there are certain topics to watch out for. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that you should ignore the other topics. The reason why I mention these topics is because they are mostly seen almost every year. So they are seen almost every year. So chemical compounds, naming of chemical compounds, balancing of chemical equations, as well as finding the mass number. Variation in genetics. So you should be able to explain what variation in genetics are. And mostly they do ask practical questions. They ask you, this one has, this individual has a particular genotype and this individual has a particular genotype. What is the probability that they are going to have a particular character? So you should be also, you should also be acquainted with how to draw the genetic diagram and to interpret your answer. So with organic chemistry, the functional groups, you should know alkenes, alkenes, alkynes, alkyl, alkanoids, you should know the substituents, you should be able to name them as well as very importantly, you should know the chemical properties of each of these subgroups of um, organic compounds I've mentioned. Now with electricity, you should be able to identify the devices the simple devices drawn you should also know the simple calculation in electricity ohm's law you know what resistance is you should know what um, potential differences and you should know what current is as well and when the resistors are connected in series you should know how to calculate for the total resistance when they are connected in parallel you should know how to calculate for the total resistance as well and all other calculations associated with electricity so more concept in order to be able to do more concepts you should understand the chemical compounds very well you should also be able to calculate for molar mass molar concentration you should know how to do calculate for the dilution factor you should know how to balance equations as well and you should also know how to do more ratio very very important and in preparation of gases as well. You should know how certain gases are prepared, the reactants you need, and most importantly, as I mentioned, balancing of equations so that you'll be able to write the products formed, the uses of the gases, the chemical properties of the gases as well. You should know the setup so that you'll be able to label the parts. 